Welcome to the Kiva Partner Academy. In this lesson, we will learn about how Kiva works and review the full life cycle of a Kiva loan. At the end of this lesson, you should be able to understand Kiva's model, understand the life cycle of a Kiva loan, and view the status of a loan in Kiva's Partner Admin System, PA2. This lesson is intended for management. You should understand the flow of how Kiva will work at your organization. And the Kiva coordinator. You will be responsible for completing many tasks throughout the life cycle of a Kiva loan. First, let's take a high level look at the Kiva model. Each month, your organization will post loans for funding on Kiva's website. Your loans will join thousands of other loans posted by Kiva's field partners all over the world. Kiva lenders browse the loans on Kiva's website and can contribute $25 or more to fund the loan of their choice. Lenders consider many factors when deciding which loans to fund, including the borrower's personal story, photo, and intended loan use. If a loan receives 100% of the requested funding, Kiva will send the funds to your organization. Please note that based on the type of partnership your organization has with Kiva, you may receive however much money was raised on Kiva's platform, regardless of whether a loan is 100% funded. You will learn more about how to view functionalities related to your organization's partnership at a later stage. Then you will use the funds to disperse the loan to the borrower or to backfill the loan if it has already been dispersed to the borrower. As the borrower repays the loan, your organization will return the funds to Kiva and Kiva will send the funds back to lenders. Next, let's take a detailed look at the full life cycle of a Kiva loan and learn about all the steps that are necessary to make the Kiva model work. The life cycle starts when your organization selects a borrower for a Kiva loan. To qualify for a Kiva loan, the borrower must be taking a loan product that has been approved by Kiva. Next, you will collect the borrower's information and photo. You also need to obtain the borrower's written consent to be posted on Kiva's website. Once you have collected the borrower's information, you will post the loan in Kiva's partner admin system, known as PA2. After you post the loan in PA2, Kiva volunteers will review the loan and then edit or translate it if necessary. The review process takes an average of seven days. Next, the loan will be published on Kiva's website for lenders, located at www.kiva.org. Once published, the loan will have a maximum of 30 days to raise 100% of the requested amount from Kiva lenders. If the loan receives 100% of the requested amount, Kiva will wire the funds to your organization. As noted previously, you will then use the funds to disperse the loan to the borrower or to backfill the loan if it has already been dispersed to the borrower. As the loan term proceeds, you will collect repayments from the borrower. You will report those repayments in PA2 and remit funds to Kiva so that Kiva can send the funds back to lenders. And finally, at the end of the loan term, when the loan is fully repaid, you will post a brief update in PA2 to tell lenders how the borrower is doing. Here are a few important policies to keep in mind when working with Kiva. A loan can be dispersed to the borrower up to 30 days before or 90 days after it is posted to PA2. In other words, if the loan has already been dispersed, you must post it to PA2 within 30 days of the dispersal date. If the loan has not yet been dispersed, you must disperse it within 90 days of posting it to PA2. Once a loan is published on Kiva's website, it has a maximum of 30 days to raise 100% of the requested amount. If the loan does not receive 100% of the requested amount within 30 days, it expires and any partially raised funds are sent back to lenders. For example, if the loan only receives 80% of the requested funding, those funds will be sent back to lenders. If a loan receives 100% of the requested amount, Kiva will wire the funds to your organization by the end of the next month. Hence, there will be a delay in between the time that you post a loan in PA2 and the time that you receive the funds. Here is a graphic that illustrates this timeline. 
In this first example, the loan is posted in PA2 in January and is fully funded by Kiva lenders within the same month. Kiva will then wire the funds to your organization by the end of February. In this second example, the loan is posted in PA2 in January, but is not fully funded by Kiva lenders until February. In this case, Kiva will not wire funds to your organization until the end of March. Please note that funds are only transferred once per month through a net billing process. Refer to Lesson 3.1 for more information. Now that we understand the life cycle of a loan, let's learn how to view the status of a loan in PA2. This video was recorded in Kiva's test system, so please disregard the orange banner at the top. When you log into PA2, you will be brought to the home page. On the right side of the page, next to lifetime loans, you will see the total number of loans that your organization has ever posted in PA2. Click the arrow to display a queue of all loans. You can track the progress of loans through Kiva's system by viewing this queue. Every loan that your organization has ever posted in PA2 will be tracked here, regardless of status. All new loans start in inactive status. Loans then move through the other statuses shown here. For example, once a loan begins to actively fundraise on Kiva's website, it moves into fundraising status. Once a loan is fully funded and the borrower begins repaying the loan, it moves into paying back status. All loans eventually move into ended status if they are fully paid back. For more information on what each status means, click the question mark icon. You can also click the status link to display a list of all loans in that status. Remember that all loans that your organization has ever posted to PA2 will appear under one of these statuses. Please refer to the PA2 manual for more information about loan statuses. That brings us to the end of this lesson. You should now be able to understand Kiva's model, understand the life cycle of a Kiva loan, and view the status of a loan in Kiva's partner admin system, PA2. Thank you for completing this lesson of the Kiva Partner Academy. We hope to see you again soon.